Hey everyone, for today's book review, let's take a look at Color and Line in One Color by Glenn Scholar. Glenn Scholar is an artist from Scotland, and this is his first book published in 2017 by Batsford. This is a big book, a large hardcover with 128 pages. I was actually drawn by the cover art to buy this book. I mean, the artworks in this book, they are lovely. This book is also available in Amazon Kindle format, but having the physical book, I think it's more satisfying because you can see the artworks reproduce so beautifully, so large. This is not an instructional book. This is more like a personal gallery of Glenn Scholar. The book only has a few demonstrations, so if you are looking for step-by-step -step instructions, tutorials, then you are going to be disappointed. Although this book does have uh, quite a lot of tips on drawing and using watercolor and other mixed media supplies. The highlight of this book is actually the mixed media art. Even though watercolor is mentioned in the title, many of the artworks that you will see in this book are actually drawn with pencils, watercolor pencils, and even oil pastels. And because of the mixed media art, mixed media supplies, the artworks, they are quite textural. It's very nice to see different textures on the paper. So the oil pastels, they are used to create textures and pencils for the lines, watercolor for covering large areas. So many of these sketches, they are very lovely, very loose, very expressive. You can see his style, it's quite simple at times, but very expressive. Many artists like to use ink with watercolor, but in this book, it shows you how well watercolor uh, how well pencils can work with watercolor. The text mostly talks about his experience as an artist and all these captions, many of them are about the story behind the art, which is nice because it's really quite interesting to read about all those stories. Personally, when it comes to gallery type of art books, I prefer those with a lot more text compared to just a book with just artworks. Because the text, the stories, they really give the artworks more context. Some of the stories are about his um, trips, some stories are about art. While there aren't any lengthy instructions, Glenn does explain the techniques that he uses. And I can definitely see myself getting some inspiration from his style. His use of color is, I would say, masterful. The colors are very vibrant. And you see that he likes to use very colorful colors, very vibrant colors. This is a short demonstration on his process. He would actually paint first, at least for this particular artwork, he would paint first and then add the pencil lines later on and then add in more colors. So we have 128 pages as mentioned earlier. So this book is just packed with lots of wonderful content and art. All right, so let me just quickly flip to the back. You can see every page has really beautiful artworks. And this is his studio at home. He's painting still life. Lobsters, lime and lemons.
This is a book I can easily recommend to those who love sketching, watercolor, and mixed media art. You can find this book on Amazon and Book Depository. The affiliate links are in the video description below. And if you want to check out more art book reviews, you can visit my YouTube playlist and also my website. Links below as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.